Hey, this is Kathy. I am the Adult Services and Programming Librarian at the Waynesville Library, and today we are going to make El Salvadoran pupusas, cortita, and salsa. So, um, if you've never heard of uh, pupusas before, let me describe them to you. They're like a cheese or bean filled taco and um, they're fun to make and they're very delicious so uh, we'll get started on the ingredients that you'll need. So her, harina de maiz which is um, instant corn meal you can buy it at Ingalls and at Publix locally. Um, there's several brands um, they're all they all work the same so you don't have to worry about the brand but make sure that you get the instant corn meal and it will say on the bag harina uh, de maiz. You're going to need warm water, a can of black refried beans, my favorite is La Preferida, and 10 ounces of any melting cheese. I prefer a mixture of Monterey Jack and Oaxaca cheese. Um, you can use anything that you like in this, just make sure it's shredded. And then either vegetable oil or lard for frying. Okay, to get started, you're going to put three and a quarter cups of instant corn masa flour in a bowl, add three and three quarter cups of warm water, and a little bit of salt. When you mix it up, it's going to look a lot like Play-Doh. It even feels like Play-Doh. This is the texture you want. So you mix it up and you let it sit for about 15 minutes, and that will help some of the water get absorbed. Add a little bit more water if you don't get this texture. This is what you want right here. Okay, so you're going to take your dough and you're going to roll it into 17 balls about a quarter an ounce and a quarter each I don't weigh them I just eyeball it looks about like that I've already got some that I've rolled and covered with a, a damp towel otherwise they'll dry out so you can go ahead and roll them all ahead of time then when you're ready Cut it in half, put some oil and water on the palms of your hands, smash it flat, fill it with some beans, some cheese. It's okay if it goes around the edge a little bit and leaks out. It will caramelize and cook in the pan and it'll still taste delicious. Smash it down on the board or in your other hand. Lay it on top, seal the edges. This is okay if you see a little bit of bean and cheese, it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember this is homemade and you don't want it to look like a machine did it. And that's ready to put in your frying pan. I'd like to show you one that is not correct so that you can see what the texture is like if you don't do it right. This dough is too dry. See all the cracks? If you roll it out and it starts to look like that, it's easy to fix. Just put some water in your dough, mix it up. This one is also overfilled. So I just wanted you to see what it looks like if it's not done right. Into the frying pan they go, some hot oil or lard. Fry them for about 10 minutes on each side. This is what they look like when they're done. Nice and crispy brown. It's okay if a little bit of the cheese leaks out of the beans. It's ready to put on some paper towels to drain. The pooses are traditionally served with cortita, which is a coleslaw and a uh, salsa made from roasted vegetables and those recipes will be on the library's webpage. So when you're ready to serve it on the side a little bit of slaw it's nice and cold and kind of spicy and vinegary the red sauce is a little hot and you eat the pupusa dipped in both the coleslaw and the red sauce. Look at this, doesn't that look great? Bean and cheese filled pupusa with salsa and slaw. The recipes are available to you on our webpage, haywoodlibrary.org. Hover over services and click on virtual programming. You'll see the recipe for the pupusas, the slaw, and the hot sauce. 
or you can contact me directly at kathleen.olson at haywoodcountync.gov. Check out these books for some great ideas on Latin American cooking. All of the recipes that you'll find for today's dishes are in these books with different variations, so it's fun to check them out and see which one's your favorite. Latin American street food, healthy Latin cooking, and my favorite, Gran Cochina Latina. Thanks for watching.